This week, you're going to be reading an example of a satire. It's important to understand exactly what a satire is, and in order to understand satire, you actually also need to understand the concept of irony. So, satire and irony, what's the connection? Let's begin with defining what satire is. Satire can be any piece of media. It can be a story, a cartoon, a television clip, etc. So we're not necessarily talking about print media. It can be anything. The mission of satire is to show what's wrong with any number of groups. And by groups, I mean it could be showing what's wrong with an individual, a particular group, an institution. And when we talk about institutions, we talk about big ideas like education, religion, etc an idea, an entire society, etc. And it usually also includes a, some view for correcting the issue. And in this correction, the author, or the creator, often uses some form of irony. So then what is irony? This is really important that you get irony, because if you don't recognize something as ironic, you are going to take a particular piece in a completely different way. And you may be treating something as very serious, when indeed it's satire, it has irony. So you have to be on the lookout for examples of irony, and you have to be aware that they're there. Because if you're not aware that they're there, it's going to be really hard to get the point behind it. So. Irony is a discrepancy between two things, and by discrepancy I mean that there's, there's a difference, there's something not right between two things. So for instance, what is said and what is meant. So we might be saying one thing, but we might actually be meaning another. Or what is said and what is done. What is expected or intended and what actually happens what is meant or said, and what others understand. So there's some kind of difference, some kind of error in between the first part and the second part. Easiest way to understand irony is to look at some examples of irony. So example one. Take a moment to read. Okay, so what is expected and what actually happens? Well, we expect that these seals are going to go on to live their lives in the ocean where they can be free and happy. I mean, we've just spent $80,000 per seal to rehabilitate them and to release them into the wild. So we expect that this is a good thing. They're going to survive. They're perhaps going to continue the population. What actually happens, however? They don't even survive 10 minutes before they're eaten. And there we just threw away $160,000. So a discrepancy, a difference between what is expected and what happens. Let's look at another example. Okay, so what is the irony here? Well, let's first look at what is expected. The woman expects that she is going to help save her husband from being shocked by the electric kettle. She assumes that since he is jerking around, she sees the wire, she expects that he's being electrocuted. What actually happens? She actually causes her husband more harm. He wasn't being electrocuted, he was just dancing. So expect one thing, the other thing happens. That is an example of irony. Let's look at another example. Okay, so, what is expected versus what happens? For this one, I'd like you to figure this out, please. And in your submission block this week, I would like you to write what is expected and what happens. That is your explanation for why this is ironic. Again, this is important because satire, when we are pointing out issues with a particular group, it's going to include these examples of irony. So we need to make sure that we understand them, we can explain them, and we know what they mean. As always, if you have any questions with satire or irony, please feel free to give me a call, drop in and see me, or send me an email.